Imagine you're a sailor in the ancient world. You've been at sea for several weeks already. You are extremely tired and look forward to getting back to Alexandria, your home. You're on deck, keeping watch and looking for the lights, but you can't see anything. The sea is dark, the sky is overcast. You're worried, and just when you're about to give up, you see a light in the distance. It's really small, but it's growing. Slowly, but steadily, you feel a surge of relief. You're almost there. You steer your ship towards the light. As you get closer, you can see the outline of the city. Here it is, the giant, magnificent lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the wonders of the world. The light from it is so bright that it illuminates the entire harbor. Finally, your home. And that's what the Lighthouse of Alexandria is to sailors, a symbol of hope and home. Well, it was before it was completely destroyed. Sadly for us, the Lighthouse didn't pass the test of time. For many centuries, even its physical appearance remained shrouded in mystery. The paintings and descriptions were extremely conflicting. Everything about the Lighthouse was covered in mystery. It felt like everyone who has seen it with their own eyes saw it differently. It felt like we'd never be able to know the truth. But don't get ready to give up yet. The recent advancements in technology and modeling techniques have sparked a glimmer of hope for us. Scholars, historians, and archaeologists have embarked on a quest to uncover the secrets of this legendary lighthouse and learn the truth about its appearance. Moreover, some of them took over an almost impossible task, the digital recreation of the lighthouse. But can they actually recreate something that so many scientists struggled with for hundreds and hundreds of years? And how accurate is it going to be? In this video, we will take a journey together to ancient times, try to rebuild together the pharaohs of Alexandria and its real shape and learn everything about its history. Get ready to uncover with us the secrets of one of the lost wonders of the world. Lost and found wonder of the world, the Alexandria Lighthouse. First, let's dive into a bit of the history of the lighthouse and understand why it's actually in the extremely exclusive list of the seven ancient wonders of the world in one line with the pyramids and hanging gardens of Babylon. Well, to be honest, it wasn't just another lighthouse. First of all, let's get our minds around the fact that it was built in 280 BC. And for that time, the Alexandria Lighthouse, also known as the Pharos, was a crazy structure, something never seen before. Some historians claim that the light from it could be seen from up to 50 kilometers away. But it wasn't just a lighthouse. It was the jewel of the most impressive and beautiful city of that time, Alexandria, built by Alexander the Great. According to historical evidence, the lighthouse was around 135 meters tall. That's how tall modern 35-story buildings are. Not impressed? Let me remind you once again when it was built, 280 before Christ before all the modern and not so modern technologies. At the time of construction, it was the second tallest man-made structure in existence, apart from the pyramids of Giza. There's no exact information on how many people were working on it. Approximately, it took around 20 years to construct it on the tiny island of Pharos in the harbor of Alexandria. This is, again, extremely impressive if we take into account the circumstances. This extraordinary structure cost a staggering 800 bars of silver at the time, equivalent to around $3 million in today's currency. The lighthouse was not merely a functional structure. It held a symbolic purpose. It was envisioned as a testament to the enduring power of Alexandria. As one of the tallest structures in the ancient world, the lighthouse served as both a guiding light and a magnificent display of human achievement. Contrary to popular belief, 
this iconic structure may not have always been a lighthouse. The earliest accounts of Pharos do not mention anything about a guiding light. However, it is believed that at a certain stage, a light was indeed added to the pinnacle of the lighthouse, most likely was fueled by oil. But it wasn't until the first century CE that the earliest references to the luminous flame emerged. And another revelation will leave you awestruck. It is believed that the pinnacle of this architectural marvel housed a telescope. According to geographer Ibn Cordataba, through its lens, one could gaze upon the distant city of Constantinople, which, by the way, lies in the distance of more than 1,000 kilometers from Alexandria. Without a doubt, this lighthouse was one of the most impressive ancient buildings. But, as you've already guessed, we are not lucky enough to see it with our own eyes. The building was standing for more than 1,500 years, being the beacon of hope for sailors and, well, just candy to the eye. Throughout its existence, this architectural marvel stood tall, defying earthquakes that threatened its very existence. However, it couldn't stand until modern days. History tells us that the first earthquake to shake the foundations of the lighthouse occurred in 796 CE. Its devastating power left only the first level standing, a mere remnant of its former glory. But the relentless quakes continued to test the lighthouse's fortitude. In the years 950 and 955, the earth trembled once more, claiming parts of the towering structure. Then, in 1375, an earthquake delivered the final blow, reducing the lighthouse to nothing more than a pile of rubble. In a twist of fate, the remaining stones of the lighthouse found a new purpose. Between 1477 and 1479, it is believed that Sultan al-Ashraf Saif used them to construct the awe-inspiring Kite Bay Fort on Pharos, also known as the Citadel of Kite Bay. This formidable fortress, guarding the coast against the looming Ottoman threat, emerged from the remnants of a once great beacon. And then, for hundreds of years, this magnificent building was kind of forgotten. More than six centuries later, in the year 1916, French engineer Gaston Jondet embarked on an extraordinary archaeological expedition that would forever change our understanding of history. Jondet, delving into the depths of the submerged port at Pharos, made a groundbreaking discovery the remnants of the lighthouse of Alexandria. His work in the study of submerged port facilities marked a milestone in the field of archaeology, for it was the first time that such colossal underwater structures had been uncovered. Astonishingly, some of these remnants lay just beneath nine meters of water, visible even to the naked eye. Over the years, Alexandria continued to reveal its ancient secrets. In 1933, Prince Omar Toussaint sponsored an expedition to retrieve a marble head of the great Alexander the Great after a keen-eyed British Royal Air Force pilot noticed submerged ruins from above. Then, in 1961, an amateur archaeologist and skilled diver Kamel Abu El Sadat stumbled upon fragments of a towering sculpture, exceeding six meters in height. The discovery prompted a UNESCO grant to further explore the seabed for additional archaeological marvels. Led by marine archaeologist Honor Frost, a team embarked on an inspiring journey to the site. Frost's meticulous research and exploration confirmed the existence of ruins. Unfortunately, due to the scarcity of specialized archaeologists and the region's transformation into a military zone, further exploration had to be postponed, leaving tantalizing questions unanswered. Hope was reignited in the mid-1990s when a team of French archaeologists, under the leadership of Jean-Yves Imperer, embarked on another remarkable mission to the site. In late 1994, 
Emperor's team rediscovered the physical remnants of the lighthouse lying on the floor of Alexandria's eastern harbor. Among the most significant were colossal blocks of granite weighing between 49 and 60 tons, often fragmented into multiple pieces. The team also uncovered 30 sphinxes, five obelisks, and columns adorned with carvings dating back to the era of Ramses II. In the process of documenting their findings, Emperor and his team completed the cataloging of over 3,300 individual pieces by the end of 1995, using a combination of photography and meticulous mapping. To showcase the beauty of their discoveries, they restored 36 granite blocks and various other artifacts which are now exhibited in museums across Alexandria. Further examination using satellite imaging techniques unveiled additional remnants of the ancient wonder. That's how nearly 600 years after the fall of the Lighthouse of Alexandria, grand ambitions have been set in motion to resurrect the seventh wonder of the world. Thanks to all this research, nowadays we might even do something that seems to be impossible before, accurately recreating the structure of this marvel. But how is it possible to recreate the building if we do not have any concrete information about it? Well, the sources agree on a few facts, and they can actually help us to rebuild it, at least virtually. Now, according to these facts, the lighthouse was crafted from light marble and mortar and had three levels. The first level was a solid rectangle, followed by an octagonal second level, and finally a cylindrical third level. And that's not all. As you may have noticed, it was crowned by a majestic statue at the top. This is an embodiment of either Zeus or Poseidon. At least that's how the ancient travelers pictured it. But can we trust them? Well, thanks to modern technologies, we can actually conduct some fact-checking. As most of the lighthouse ruins are now underwater, let's drain the ocean in the place where the ruins of the Alexandria Lighthouse remain, Alexandria Harbor. Ready to uncover one of the most mind-blowing of ancient secrets? Now for that, we might need to drain the ocean. No worries, we'll just do it virtually. The water is slowly fading, and we can already see some blocks remaining on the ocean ground. This is one of the largest underwater archaeological sites in the world. Around 3,000 blocks are lying here, and they for sure have an untold history behind them. These stones are spread over 12,000 square meters of the seabed. We can tell that those remains are not the work of nature they are for sure made by humans. Those giant blocks are the remains of a once spectacular and tall building, the Alexandria Lighthouse. And some of these man-made stones are the key to the structure and shape of this ancient masterpiece. Some of those blocks formed cornerstones of the lighthouse. By studying those, it became obvious to the scientists that the walls were straight. That's the first actual physical proof of the ancient wonder's design. Now the hardest part is piecing together those 3,000 blocks to understand the structure of the building. It's not at all easy. And the fact that many crucial pieces were excavated and taken to museums is making the task even harder. But the scientists were able to do that. One of the huge discoveries lies on the quayside and it's actually a very important piece, the side part of the door frame. Now on the scanned images of the seabed, we can see some huge blocks. Combining them with previously discovered stones, we can recreate the door of the lighthouse, one of its crucial parts. Now using computer technology, we are reversing the time. These pieces came together perfectly, and here it is the first time when a part of the pharos was accurately recreated. The granite door frame with the wooden door. Its height is around 12 meters with a weight of around 200 tons. But is that all we can do? 
What about the other parts of the lighthouse? Will it always remain a mystery for us? Well, actually, the reconstruction of the door frame led to other discoveries. The outside edge of it reveals information about the thickness of the outside wall of the building. It's two meters. Now, this information gives us the opportunity to decipher some historical texts which describe the lighthouse. Comparing the 3D data and historical evidence, it actually becomes possible to solve the puzzle. Using computer technologies, it's possible now to reconstruct the building in the most accurate way ever. And here it is, in its full glory, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the highest ancient buildings. And now we know for sure how it looked. It was really as high as a modern 35-story building. It really consisted of three levels, and it was really, truly, without a single doubt, a masterpiece. And today, we were able to uncover its secrets and see it for the first time in the most accurate shape ever. But how many mysteries are there in the land of the ancient Egyptian civilization? It's hard to even count them. Perhaps one day, we will finally know the answer to the question of how the pyramids were built. And by who exactly? Until then, we can once again take a look at the wonder that has already been just recreated in front of our eyes and wait for the day when we uncover even more of the mysteries of this ancient land.